हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम वैक्टर मैकेनिक्स बाय बेर एंड जॉनसन फ्रॉम चैप्टर टू एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट डिटर्मिन द एक्स एंड वाई कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फोर्स इज शोन सो वी आर गिवन थ्री फोर्सेज विच आर एक्टिंग ऑन दिस बैरिंग ब्रैकेट एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द एक्स एंड वाई कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस थ्री फोर्सेज so let's say that uh, first of all you want to find the x and y components of this 80 newton so this 80 newton force is making 40 degree with the x axis so it will have two components one of its components is going to act in this direction and one of its component is going to act in the y direction so so this one will be the f of x component this is the component along the x axis and this one will be the component along the y axis so let me represent uh, that 80 newton force here in the free body diagram so this will be our 80 newton force so this is 80 newton and this is making uh, 40 degree with the x axis so it will have one component this one will be the horizontal component along the x axis let's say this is f of x and it will have one component in the vertical direction and that one will be f of y now as i have told you people in the previous video that the component with which the angle is made so the angle is made with f of x so the the component with which the angle is made by the force is always the cos component so we can say that f of x is f of x will be f cos of the angle which is 40 degree and similarly the other component will be the sine component so f of y is f sine of 40 degrees now we can find for 80 newton for 80 newton the f of x is f cos of 40 and f magnitude is given which is 80 so 80 cos of 40 degrees and similarly f of y will be 80 sin of 40 degrees so uh 80 cos of 40 this gives me 61.28 so this is 61.28 newtons and similarly uh 80 sin of 40 so this gives us 51.42 newtons so 51.42 newtons so this is for 80 newton similarly for 120 newton let me write that for 120 now we have to represent that 120 newton force here on the free body diagram let me erase all these so now we have that 120 newton force like this and now it is making uh, 70 degree with the x axis is so it is making this 120 newton force is making 30 plus 40 so the total angle with the x axis is 70 degrees so this is we can say that this is now 70 degrees now the component of this 120 newton force along the x axis this one will be f of x let, let me erase this so this is f of x and similarly this one will be this will be the vertical component so this component is f of x and this component is f of y now again the the 120 newton force is making the angle with the horizontal component with the f of x 70 degree angle is made with f of x so f of x is the cos component so again we can write that this is this is f cos of 70 so the f magnitude for this case is this is f so this is 120 uh cos of 70 and f of y will be 120 sin of 70 so we can write that f of x is 120 cos of 70 and f of y is 120 sin of 70 so 120 cos of 70 this is 41.04 so 41 0.04 newtons similarly 
120 sine of 70 120 sine of 70 is 112.76 112.76 newton similarly uh, the third force is this uh, 150 newton again we can show that 150 newton force here so this is our 150 newton force again uh, it is given that this is uh, 150 newton force is making 35 degrees with the negative x axis so we will have um, one component of 150 newton force that is the horizontal component must be acting in this direction so this one will be the f of x and similarly it will have one component in the vertical direction like this so this green one is the f of y component again the angle is made with the horizontal component that is f of x so f of x is the cross component we can say that f of x is 150 cos of 35 degree and similarly f of y is 150 sine of 35 degrees so now for the components for 150 newton so f of x is 150 cos of 35 degrees and similarly f of y is 150 sine of 35 degrees so 150 cos of 35 this gives us 122.87 so 122.87 newton similarly uh, 150 sine of 35 this gives me 86.03 newtons so this is how we can find the the x and y components of given forces so again the summary is that component with which the angle is made is always the cost component and the other component will be the sine component so i hope you people would have understood this problem do subscribe and like this video if this helps in your learning